On a gray afternoon, the Golf Glen Mall looks desolate with a giant vacancy on the eastern end. Yesterday, we checked out 24-7 breakfast through late night snacks at Omega, fried chicken wings and burgers at Kickin', spice-laden rice and curry dishes at Indian Bistro Express, Korean home cooking at Jang Chung Dong, and vinegar-laced pork and noodle dishes at Sid's Mom on Luck. That Filipino menu is complemented by Ati Atihan, where they specialize in grilled meats that have been marinated for at least 36 hours in soy and tart calamansi juice. We call it chicken in a sal in the Philippines. It's chicken in a sal, very popular in the Philippines, especially in the southern part of the Philippines. Entire pork legs are served crackling crispy with interior meat that is fork tender. We actually boiled it, boiled it overnight. It's fried. It's very crispy once it's cooked. For dessert, the classic halo halo, which means mix mix for good reason. Beans, corn, coconut jellies, purple yam ice cream, and creamy flan are combined until it's almost soup-like, offering a creamy sweet counterpoint to the meal. A few doors down, the Agate Bar and Grill is known mostly for its late-night Korean bar food, like fiery chicken that gets mellow due to a blanket of melted mozzarella. Lunch boxes of kimchi, spam, and a fried egg offer childhood comfort foods, while grown-ups might like fresh pineapple pureed with some booze. Then combine with a bottle of soju and serve with a ladle for you and your K-pop loving friends. More standard Korean barbecue can be found in the massive barbecue garden where you can opt for an all-you-can-eat option or just order a la carte. Pork belly and short ribs are recommended. Crisp, bright fermented vegetarian sides called banchan fill every possible piece of real estate on the table while the solicitous staff does all of the work at the grill for you. There is Chinese food with a mild Korean accent next door at the Twin Dragon. They make all of the noodles from scratch, running them through a sheeter until they're cut, then boiled for a minute or two. They might appear in fiery broths inspired by Korea, but also for more Chinese-inspired dishes like wok-seared beef with scallions. And finally, a brewery. Un Ane specializes in sour Belgians. The small front bar is usually occupied with beer fans trying several styles and flights, playing board games, enjoying their options. We were downtown and we moved up here to Niles. We sell the Belgian Focus, but we uh, also added a new brand that is more of an American and uh, stout focus. A uh, brand called uh, Hubbard's Cave. Our signature beer is Frambois, and it's a, a, it's a Belgian sour beer with uh, raspberries. So the Gulf Glen Mart, like a lot of malls along Gulf Road, you'd pass by it dozens of times and never think about it, but this mall has 10 eating and drinking options, some very unique that you can't necessarily find in the city, like Unane. Cheers to that. In Niles, Steve Delinsky, ABC7 Eyewitness News. In this week's Extra Course, that's Steve's web-only video, he visits Omega, the 35-year-old Greek diner in the middle of the mall's parking lot to see some of the dirt their desserts made in their basement bakery. To see that video or to get more information about the 10 places to eat or drink in the Golf Glen Mart, just go to abc7chicago.com and click the Sections button. You'll see the Hungry Hound tab in the middle of the page. That will link you to all of Steve's stories and videos. Or call the info line at 312 750 7096. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.